Was ABBA actually fluent in English? Long before ABBA both Benny and Bjorn were in Swedish bands that performed in Swedish and English and both wrote songs in English for these bands. They have always been reasonably fluent in English as a second language and comfortable singing in English. When ABBA started neither Annie Fried nor Agnetha spoke English and they performed their early English songs phonetically. I remember their first American TV appearance, on the Mike Douglas show, and it was clear the ladies could not speak English. Both of them learned to speak English fairly quickly and became functionally fluent, Annie Fried still is. Apparently, Agnetha doesn't feel comfortable with her level of English anymore and she doesn't speak it in public. What's wrong with ABBA? Fan of rock, pop, jazz, classical, bluegrass, etc. ABBA's music is fun. While some of the themes are unusual for pop music and some of the music itself is pretty good, there's no depth. ABBA's music is disco, and campy disco, at that, they have no aspirations to musical greatness. ABBA never made an album like Sgt Pepper's or Pet Sounds to reject their bubblegum origins. Starting in the late 1970s, there was a rock revival. Music that was seen as bubblegum was discarded, replaced by prog rock, punk, roots rock, new wave, and metal. ABBA was the apotheosis of disco in the 70s, so was therefore seen as the nadir of popular music. No one wore bell bottoms or peasant blouses or anything shiny, except leather jackets. Yes, the 1980s, and beyond, had fashion-heavy popular music, but it didn't sound like ABBA and didn't look like ABBA. Overall, this is a good thing. If we never rejected the art that came before, we would never have the freedom to create truly novel new art. ABBA was never universally hated, they were just the symbol of a type of music people were tired of, from an era that the 1980s world would like to forget. ABBA was rehabilitated by the mid-1990s. People realized that the wholesale rejection of disco was throwing out the old with the new. But for ABBA, it was never like this their music was never old. Because their music people still play it today. Erasure released the EP ABBA-esque, updating four of their songs and making hilariously campy covers of the original videos, featuring heavy drag. The fact that ABBA have maintained cult status in gay culture coincided with increased acceptance of gay culture and LGBT people in Western society. Long before their songs were made into a musical, their music, and another disco, featured prominently in two Australian films, The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, and Muriel's Wedding. For those who still hate disco on principle, then ABBA's rehabilitation is the ultimate slap in the face, it's the most disco music possible, and yet by far the most recognizable in the post-disco era. However, for people who just like music, there's a general acceptance or even love for the fun embodied in a disco by bands like ABBA and the Village People. These are just my thoughts, what are yours?